Four years ago, I was part of a mission on the International Space Station. And it was the adventure of a lifetime. Last year, a good friend of mine from training, astronaut Drew Morgan, followed in my footsteps. But while he was in space, the world he left completely changed. Now, he's back. Drew, hello, it's great to see you. Hey Tim, it's great to see you again. What a cool way for us to be able to connect and have this talk together. I'm catching up with him at his home in Houston, Texas. Listen, congratulations on a hugely successful mission. Um, nine months in space, 272 days, incredible. Since you've been on board, of course, we've had a, a global pandemic and uh, coronavirus has um, hit the news. I mean, how did it make you feel um, knowing that this was all happening back on Earth? My two crewmates and I, we were in the safest place we could be. We were as isolated from the Earth as you could be. We were the safest three humans uh, in the universe, as far as we knew, and couldn't even imagine the world that we were gonna land in nine months later. Speaking to my friends and family on the phone, kind of pieced together the story gradually, I, you know, it became a greater and greater concern. The team's mission on the ISS was to complete essential upgrades and repairs. Operations up here are gonna, are gonna continue regardless of what's happening on the ground. Whenever I get asked what was the best part of your mission, for me, it's doing a spacewalk. Uh, I was very fortunate to get one spacewalk. Drew, you got seven spacewalks. Uh, the fourth one led to some a little bit of excitement when we did have uh, one of the connections leak on us. Luca was able to repair that, um, but very rewarding for us, very rewarding for the ISS uh, program. And I'm not envious at all, by the way, about seven spacewalks. <laughs> During lockdown, we've, we've heard about pollution levels dropping and dropping. I was just interested to know if you saw any change at all um, whilst you're on board the space station. You know, there were places in the world where I was used to seeing lots of aircraft contrails. As you know, those show up really well. And you can see places where uh, air traffic is especially high and there clearly was less air traffic. This is some good news. The Earth is still beautiful. An Earth in crisis is still an Earth worth returning to. But preparing for the astronauts to come back to the planet in the midst of a global pandemic meant extra precautions had to be taken. They were concerned that because of our suppressed immune systems that we could be more susceptible to COVID-19. Your uh, family, did they have to go into quarantine? They were actually put in a more strict home quarantine where they weren't able to leave even uh, to go to the grocery store. They took their temperature every day, checked in with my flight surgeon, everything to make sure that they were as um, quarantined as possible in those two weeks. Last month, Drew got his first experience of the new world as he landed in Kazakhstan. One of the first things I remember, Tim, was being extracted from the capsule. I'm sure you remember uh, that experience well, being pulled out, and they had reduced it to the bare minimum number of people um, there on the ground, and everybody was wearing masks, and uh, everybody I had contact with, there was always the minimum required, but I didn't see anybody's face for uh, several days until I, I finally got home. I think some of the, the first faces I saw without masks was my own family. I just wanted to end with your opinion on our planet's ability to tackle this crisis. Are you hopeful for the future? As you know, Tim, when we look down on the Earth and we see this borderless uh, world, and much like the International Space Station was this wonderful project by countries coming together and, and solving this global pandemic, and that's what it's gonna take. Drew, can't wait till we get to catch up in person. Thank you so much. That's been a brilliant message to end on. Thanks, Tim. Great seeing you.